All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of ASA, the series where I answer your questions. I got more than 10 questions, but for the sake of the video, I'm only ever going to answer 10. So if I don't answer your question, that's why I'm sorry. So anyways, let's get started with the video, starting with BZ Bricks, And he says, ASA, what is your least favorite set from the new August Star Wars wave? So out of all of these choices, I think I'm going to pick the Bad Batch attack shuttle. I just don't really like that set to be honest with you it's decent the minifigures are pretty cool but the build is a little inaccurate it's kind of pricey being a hundred dollars and one thing that obviously this doesn't this isn't fair but i'm gonna count it anyways is that video didn't get a lot of views so it kind of hurt my self-esteem a little i guess i don't know what a baby but um so i just don't like the bad batch attack shuttle i think that that set's kind of cruddy i like the rest so i'm actually that's a really good question so next question question is from EK Starlord and he says have you seen Marvel what if show if so what do you think of it well I haven't seen any episodes from it because I honestly could not care I know that I should give it a try because I'm sure that I would actually like it because I do love Marvel uh I just I haven't checked it out and I don't plan on it i might once the show is like over give it a watch or at least some of the episodes but it just doesn't seem appealing to me but if you guys like it then have at it right next question is from sinker films and he says asa do you own any 91st troopers i do only one and it is this guy i have a bark trooper from the battle of seleucami i think is the name of the set i don't remember the set number but the set's from 2014 i'll put a picture up on screen i probably should have done my research before making this video but very cool clone trooper not gonna lie next question is from storm chicken and he says thoughts on games con i didn't watch it because i was too busy playing the new psychonauts game so i didn't even watch it in fact i actually forgot about it and then later that day everyone was talking about it and i was like oh yeah i forgot about that so i didn't watch it so i have no thoughts next question is from yd bricks and he says asa your thoughts on the new spider-man no way home trailer absolutely amazing if i wasn't excited for that movie i definitely am now of course i was excited but now i'm like extra excited is that possible i don't know it just looks absolutely amazing i'm super excited to see another spider-man movie spider-man movies in the mcu have been absolutely amazing so far so i think this one's going to be possible possibly even better it's really cool to see dr strange again and in a spider-man movie especially although i will say dr strange at least in the trailer does seem a little odd anyways it's it's really cool to see and the probably the best thing or at least i'm just gonna say it, is the fact that they're reusing actors from the old spider-man movies like doc ock um that's just super cool to me even though i like not a huge fan of like the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movies. Uh, it's just really cool. So, and that's probably going to have to do something with the multiverse, right? So guess we'll find out in December. Super excited though. Next question is from the Lego man. And he says, ASA, what's your favorite Lego Star Wars battle pack? That's a really tough one because there's a lot of really good battle packs out there. But I think out of all of them, at least the ones that I own, I'm going to go with the Imperial Trooper battle pack, the Rebels Trooper battle pack. I believe. I believe that's from 2017 i don't even remember the year i like i said earlier i should have done my research but the one on screen right now because that's my favorite style of lego stormtrooper so it's just absolutely cool to get four and i own that battle pack which is just even better to me i just absolutely love it it's just so cool the build is actually really cool too like some battle packs you know how like the minifigures are cool but the build's kind of like cruddy or whatever like in my opinion that battle pack has a really good build and really good minifigures the only thing that ruins it for me is of course the stud shooters but still really cool next question is from brick and awesome and he says asa what's your favorite lego clone so once again the bark trooper this guy just is my favorite I absolutely love Bark Troopers in general. So to own a Lego version of a Bark Trooper is really cool. I just kind of wish that he had like a white arm instead of like this red one. Because that's a little weird looking. But still super duper cool. I absolutely love Bark Troopers. And like I said. So this guy's just fantastic. Next question is from Vader Bricks. And he says ASA in your opinion what is your favorite buildable character Lego has released so far. And what other characters do you 
hope to see Lego make next? Well, first of all, I'm going to stop you there with the second part of the question. Lego's never going to make another buildable character. I mean, maybe I'll eat those words someday, but I doubt Lego will ever make another buildable character again. That line seems to be pretty dead. And I honestly hope that Lego never does make <laughs> more because who wants that? <gasps> To answer the first part of your question, I guess I would say the Phase 2 Cody. He's the least bad looking in my opinion and a, I think he's pretty valuable too. So to so like if someone was offering it to me for free, I would definitely take it because then like it would be cool. The helmet looks really nice or maybe the Def Trooper because I absolutely love Def Troopers. Pretty much anyone with faces I do not like. So if Lego does continue to make them though, I would hope that they don't make ones with faces. Just helmet helmets because helmets are okay they should only stick to characters that wear helmets next up is the lego porg and he says asa how you doing you all right matey i sure am matey i'm a pirate now uh he also then says asa or not asa also see i can't read also do you have any lego trains and what is your favorite lego train set i do not own any lego trains but i actually do really like lego trains i just don't own any i don't remember what it's called but i used to own own a red city train from a long time ago like when I was a kid and so that was a really cool set um I have it up on screen so that was my only lego train I ever owned in my entire life so I just kind of have like some nostalgia for it obviously I don't own it anymore I actually sold it but it was pretty cool when I had it and so I guess I would pick that one next question is from pixelite and he kind of cheated because he has two but whatever no that's okay I'm just kidding uh and he says ASA what is your favorite clip from the skywalker saga trailer so i'm gonna pause there and answer this i do think that the trailer looked cool from what i remember but i don't really have a favorite part i'll tell you one thing i don't like is how they're using the ugly fat heads like disgusting stormtrooper helmets like the new stormtrooper design for the game that kind of makes me sad because i was like i don't want to look at those guys in a game you know anyways the other part of the question is if you already got this question which is likely then why do you think lego changed the color of general General Grievous from Tan to White. I don't think I actually ever got that question, to be honest. Uh, not that I remember. Anyways, to answer your question, I don't really know. I think LEGO just wanted to change because change is good sometimes. Well, most of the time, like 99.9% .9 of the time. And so they probably realized that Tan is actually inaccurate. However, it's funny because if you think about it, the very first ever LEGO General Grievous that we got was, even though it looks kind of horrible, was actually white. So Lego acknowledged that he was white before he was tan. In the movies, if you ask me, he's white. But in the show, maybe he's a little tan. So I think they only made him tan for the Clone Wars theme sets because then it kind of matches that more. I think that's why. I don't know. Uh, did that even answer your question? I kind of feel like I just rambled on. That's how these videos go. So there we go. That's all the questions for today. Make sure you leave a like on this video if you enjoyed. And of course, ask a question or two. But next, next episode is going to be a special themed episode. I'm not going to tell you what it is it is though but uh yeah because uh every 10 episodes i do special themes so uh that'll be fun so until next time have a wonderful day and i'll see you guys next time